I'm gonna have a new one of these by next week. I still love you. What's up, socials? Happy Social Thursday. Today is what day? Yes, that is right. It is the day where I take your questions and comments on YouTube and talk about them and or answer them. Mr. Status Tech wanted to know, are there any specific apps that you use to manage your social networks? I have three online personalities, tech reviews, art videos, and personal. It's all way too much for me to handle. I'd like to have accounts for each, at least on Facebook and Twitter, but the process of logging into and out of accounts is driving me crazy. That would drive me crazy too. So my first question would be, why are you logging in and out of everything? Because Facebook and Twitter both have applications where you can just swap in and out of different personalities. Twitter, the main app, does that for you, so you just need to add your credentials for all of them. And Facebook has its own separate app for page management. If you guys didn't know this, it's called Pages. If you just type Pages in the App Store, or maybe it's Facebook Pages, and obviously in Google Play as well, then you'll find that other Facebook app that's actually built to better manage brand pages on Facebook rather than your personal profile. I'm also a big fan of Hootsuite and Buffer app for some other scheduling and research purposes. Brian Dane made a comment said, if I am asked for a business card, I usually just say, oh crap, just gave out the last 10, but more on the way. Impresses people never had any to begin with. I love the way you think, that's so great. Oh my gosh, I would love that. Like, oh, I just gave my last one out cause I'm so in demand. Would you believe it? Let me see if I can dig for one. Let me dig. Hold on. Hold. I might have one. Hold on. Oh my God. Seriously. Okay. Don't do it to everyone though, because people are going to get to know that about you. <laughs> Scotty's detailing started it off with a great compliment. You're so smart. How old are you? Seems like you had tons of social media training. I need to sign up for what you did to get so smart. Well, you're already doing a heck of a job if you're watching my videos. That means that you're catching on. But if you wanna learn something about an industry, then I suggest reading a lot. Look for the influencers and find out what they're talking about and what the important things are and what kind of things people care about because that's how I learned everything. As soon as I learned I wanted to get into this industry, I read as much as I possibly could about it and I never stopped. Trish Allen wanted to know how can you know who shared your content and then connect with them? I have a new blog that's getting some shares but I have no idea how to connect with the people doing the sharing. Very good question. In some places you can do this very easily, others you really can't. The easiest place is on Twitter because you can run a search. I use Hootsuite for this. You can actually run a column of search and if it's your URL, it'll pull anyone sharing any content from your website. So for me, I have a stream running that SavvySexySocial.com so I can see anytime someone has posted my blog post to their Twitter account. You can also track these things with Google Alerts. You should always have a Google Alert set up for your blog name, your URL, your personal name, anything to do really with your brand because it's a good way to find out what's going on and what's trending but also what people are saying about you. Good question. Sydney Diva wanted to say, I prefer anonymity on YouTube for professional reasons. I don't have anything to sell or a brand as such. I do think videos where people show their faces get more watchers, would you agree? The last thing I'd put out there is my full name, also for work reasons and to protect the rest of my family. Well, first of all, Sydney, I checked out your channel and you're sharing perfectly wonderful information, so I wish your face was there. But I do understand when people want to have an anonymous brand. The issue is you have to work a lot harder because personal connections do so much to elevate your brand. So you have to work much harder, provide even better content, especially without a face on it, it's gotta be done really, really well. And you have to do a lot more of it too. But hey, I hope we get to find out what your name is someday and how pretty you are. That's all for today's socials and this week, that's the end of the programming. I'm so sorry. If you would like to be in my next comment and questions and shout outs video, then you should always comment below on YouTube or on my blog, SavvySexySocial.com. And if you would like to subscribe to more Marketing Lifestyle Goodness, make sure you click the annotation below or it's in the description or it's in the sidebar depending on where you're watching this for my weekly newsletter. I will see you next week on Tuesday where we pick things back up again.